Yes. Oh my gosh, sweetie, you have some ice cream today. Ice cream box. What color do you like? What um, do you like? Okay, I think I see the name Mrs. Life. Sunshine, health, and something healing. Oh my God. I think I want to choose blue or green or something like that. Okay. Oh no. Today I'm wearing a purple t-shirt. So I choose purple. What are you eating? You make me hungry. So. Apple. Oh my yeah. God. That's so good. So I I oh, it's really good for your skin. <laughs> okay. Okay. Now drink some water. Wait. Yep. As in a polite way. Okay. Okay, last lesson. We just stop here. Now we move to a listening part. It is Paul. He is talking about his day. And I want you to listen. How does Paul go to school? He, okay. It's kind of easy because you can see that is Paul, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> but, okay, can you guess? He skis to school. Yeah, he skis to school. Now let's listen to uh, him, okay? 51E. Here's my news. Listen to Paul talking about his day. Hello, my name's Paul. I'm going to tell you about my school day. Well, my house is about two kilometers away from my school, but I live at the top of a mountain. I wake up at seven o'clock and I always have to put on warm clothes because it's cold up here. In winter, I always have a hot breakfast because it can be very, very cold outside. There are no bus stops near my house, so I use the ski lift to go down the mountain to my school in the village. But when there's snow, I put on my skis and ski down the mountain to school. I love going to school that way. There are 15 students in my class, and I'm not the only person who comes down the mountain to school. Jane, the girl who sits next to me in class, comes on a dog sledge with her brother and sister. My favorite lesson is geography, and I also like maths. I'm good at sport, too. I'd like to be a ski teacher or to be part of my country's ski team one day. School finishes at quarter past four. Sometimes after school, I go to a friend's house in the village. In winter, I have to carry my skis over my shoulder. Then I take the ski lift up the mountain to go back to my house. That's so fantastic, right? So, yes. How do polls go to school? The last answer. You can see that he got maybe more than a way to go to school. Yes. Okay, and actually he got the ski lift up and down the mountain. The ski, okay. He got the ski lift up and down in the mountain or ski down the mountain in the winter. So he got two ways to go to school. Yeah. Yeah, not in the winter. So you can get a skill and get, get down easily. Now, okay, are you busy? Okay, and the busy. I just turn on the fan. Oh uh, yeah, now. Okay, let's hear again. And Paul used the word to talk about his day. Listen again and tell me how he's used them. 
Okay, I think maybe you need to take note because we got seven sentence here. Seven, seven sentence? Things. Yeah, seven things, seven sentence. So I think you may need a piece of paper or something to take note. It's quite a lot. Right now. Okay, now, okay, let's see. Tell me about the words you're gonna hear. The first one is two, two kilometers. kilometers. Next one. Worm closes. This one. 15. 15. And this one, next, next, please. Pain. Geography and maps. A ski teacher over his shoulder. So you're going to listen the sentence of the words. Okay, so how many sentences you need to hear? Six. No, no. Seven words. So at least, tell me, at least you live, you have to listen to seven, ten sentences. Uh-huh. Yeah. You have to listen. Where is Tom kilometer used? Why he's mentioned about kilometer? Two kilometer for what? Like that. Okay. Mm -hmm. 51 E. Here's my news. Listen to Paul talking about his day. Hello, my name is Paul. I'm going to tell you about my school day. Well, my house is about two kilometers away from my school, but I live at the top of a mountain. I wake up at seven o'clock and I always have to put on warm clothes because it's cold up here. In winter, I always have a hot breakfast because it can be very, very cold outside. There are no bus stops near my house so I use the ski lift to go down the mountain to my school in the village. But when there's snow, I put on my skis and ski down the mountain to school. I love going to school that way. There are 15 students in my class, and I'm not the only person who comes down the mountain to school. Jane, the girl who sits next to me in class, comes on a dog sledge with her brother and sister. My favorite lesson is geography, and I also like maths. I'm good at sport, too. I'd like to be a ski teacher or to be part of my country's ski team one day. School finishes at quarter past four. Sometimes after school, I go to a friend's house in the village. In winter, I have to carry my skis over my shoulder. Then I take the ski lift up the mountain to go back to my house. Okay, that's all. Do you want to listen again? No. No, is it enough? Okay, now tell me about two kilometers first. Um, Polish. Two kilometers from school. Okay, how about warm clothes? Um, he has to put on warm clothes because the weather is always cold there. Yeah, and how about 15? There are 15 students in his class. Jane? Who is Jane? Jane is the one who sits near next to Paul. She comes to school by a dog sledge. Are you reading? No. Show me your paper. But I put away the, the plants. Okay. Okay, so why? So, so, so you remember everything? Just a little bit. Mm -hmm. Your eyes gonna won't tell lies, you know? When people try to remember about things, their eyes gonna move up. 
But you look straight. You are focusing, and you hesitation. You have hesitation when you talk. Just like reading, I'm not. I'm not trying to tell you that. Yeah, that's not good. But if I, you are reading, I really don't like that because we are practicing. Understand? Yes. Yes. How about ski teacher? Why is Paul mention the ski teacher? Mm. Why he mentioned that? Ski teacher, what does it mean to him? Okay. Um. How about over his shoulder? Paul carries his sledge, his ski lift over his sh shoulder. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, sorry, but I want you to say exactly what Paul said with the word. Okay. I want to play it once more time. And you're gonna write down the word for me. For example, Fifth. hello, my name is Paul. I'm going to tell you about my school day. Well, my house is about two kilometers away from my school. Okay, I want you to say that my house is two kilometer from school. I want you to say some words like that. Understand? Mm -hmm. Okay, now you're gonna listen about warm clothes. Between Jane, geography and Mars, a ski teacher, and over his shoulder again. Ready? Mm -hmm. Yeah, please take note, it's gone along. I want you to say exactly what Paul said. But I live at the top of a mountain. I wake up at seven o'clock, and I always have to put on warm clothes because it's cold up here. In winter, I always have a hot breakfast because it can be very, very cold outside. There are no bus stops near my house, so I use the ski lift to go down the mountain to my school in the village. But when there's snow, I put on my skis and ski down the mountain to school. I love going to school that way. There are fifteen students in my class. And I'm not the only person who comes down the mountain to school. Jane, the girl who sits next to me in class, comes on a dog sledge with her brother and sister. My favorite lesson is geography, and I also like maths. I'm good at sport too. I'd like to be a ski teacher or to be part of my country's ski team one day. School finishes at quarter past four. Sometimes after school, I go to a friend's house in the village. In winter, I have to carry my skis over my shoulder. Then I take the ski lift up the mountain to go back to my house. Okay, is that all for you? Yes. Okay. How about warm clothes? What did he say? He said that I have to put on warm clothes because the weather it is very cold. Yeah, yeah. very yeah. good. And outside, because it can be very winter, I always have a hot breakfast. Sorry. Because it's cold up here. Warm clothes. But have to put on warm clothes. Yeah, I have to put on warm clothes because it's cold up here. Because it's cold up here. So why he said up here? I don't remember all. Yeah, because Tom Paul is living on a top of a mountain. Well, that's why he can ski from the high place to the low place. Okay, 
Next one, how about 15? Easy. Jane, 15, uh, 15. There, are, there are 15 students in my class. Yeah, very good. How about Jane? Um, the, the girl who sit next to me, Jane, the girl who sit next to me. She comes to school. Who comes to school on a dog sledge with, with? his, oh, his with sister this? and sister. Jane is a boy? No. Her no, so is that, is that his? Is <laughs> that her brother? Okay, you change the gender. <laughs> You change Jane into a male. How about geography and math? Um, Paul, Paul like, I like geography and maths. No, she's not say exactly like that. Listen to him again. Okay, sorry. This one, he gonna say like this one. 15 students is on a dog sledge. My favorite with her brother and sister. A brother and sister. My favorite lesson is geography, and I also like maths. My? My geography. My favorite lesson. My favorite subject. No, my favorite lessons is? Lessons is geography, and I also like maths. Okay, how about the teacher? Um, Paul, I like to. Okay. Be I'm good at sport too. I'd like to be a ski teacher. Or sport yeah. too. I'd like to be a ski teacher. I like. I like to be a ski teacher. Or. Or, or to. Or ski team. Okay, a ski teacher or, or something. Or ski team. For uh, his or team. take part in. Or, or take, take part, part in the, the ski team of the of my country. Yes, very good. Be part of my country. Be part of my country's ski team. Okay, so how things about over his shoulder? How about my sh over my shoulder, like he said? I carry his. Uh, I, I carry, carry my, my skis over my shoulder. Uh, yeah. After school, I In go to a friend's house. And, and and went and go back home. Oh, yeah, very good. Now let's listen to that part. I carry my skis over my shoulder. Skis? Then I take the ski lift up the mountain to go back to my house. Uh, yeah, up back to my mountain and go back to my house. Now, this is the answer for you. You already done that. So, this is the homework for the, this unit. And you got, we're going to move to the new unit, right? Yes. Now, about this one. Write about your school or news. Write a letter, or you can choose a postcard or text on email about your school. Tell me, you can say something like the news of your school, like, okay, how to say, you maybe make up a short story, or you say something very interesting about your school. For example, you are inviting me to visit your school. And I want you to write, write about something that I want. If I read that, I want to visit that immediately. Understand? Okay, you can say a little bit about your school first. You can interview about your school first. You can interview about the appearance of your school. For example, big or small with a color or something like it's just small thing. Okay, just a shop for about two or three sentences. And then you can introduce me about your part, the part of your school, and tell me about the favorite things or interesting thing at school, and you invite me to come to visit your school. Okay. Okay. And now we move to the next unit. 
Unit 52. What a lot of questions. Oh my God. You say that what a lot of questions. That is, this is not a, this is what, it, not a question. That is a way you show your feelings. So you know that today you're gonna answer a lot of questions. <laughs> no. Yeah. <laughs> now let's do the first questions. Which day of the week do you like the most? Mm, I like Sunday. I know why. Because <laughs> you have no study today, right? This day, right? And I love Thursday too. Why? Tell me. Because Thursday is the day of my birthday. My birthday ah, is yeah, always. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and how about Sundays? Mm, Sunday is a day I can rest a lot. Ah, this is a day off. So does it mean this is a day off? Oh. Yeah, Sunday is a day off because we don't have to go to school. Or we don't have to, to go to work. We can do everything you want, right? Yes. Now, my nice questions. So, who do you look like in your family? Your face. My father and my biggest sister. Okay. So, you look like your father and your biggest sister is look like your father too. Because yeah. you all your sis, you all you are sister, right? And where would you like to live in the future? You can see this is a countryside and this is a city. Which one? I like both. No, just choose one because you have one body. You can live in both. So I like choose. Which do you prefer? I prefer city. For city and tell me the reason because I really want to be live in the countryside because there I I just the reason if I like countryside uh, because I can find some con luôn in the middle yes in the in the mud in the mud the moon the moon and ah, okay in a swarm no la phu nhận là đầm lầy you like that kind of fish yes we can say and that it is ill the word ill you know double e l con lươn của con ấy ill job and yeah, Ill. Ill. <laughs> because when people find out, we're gonna put it up in, and it's throw away. It's like, like, how do you say it? Yes, I know about like, that. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. This is the the feeling. Ill. <laughs> Ill. <laughs> we made that. Dirty. Actually, yeah. it is this. That is its name. It's ill. This one. Ill. <laughs> Ill. Okay. Ill in a swamp, maybe. Okay. And how about a city? Why do you prefer city? Because a city, if we are busy or we can't cook for the dinner or breakfast or lunch, we could go to the cafeteria. Cafeteria, to yeah to choose the food we want and eat quickly and do the work again. Ah, uh, yeah, so to choose the city because you can get food quicker. <laughs> yes, it's we can more, it's more, um, it's more comfortable. Ah, uh, yeah, convenient too, convenient. convenient. Yeah. Okay, actually city is more convenient in many ways. 
not only in food, but in our transportation. You can choose if you don't want to go to work on by yourself. You can call uh, someone to pick you up, a taxi, or maybe transportation in some modern city. We have subways, we have train, a lot of things. A bus uh, too, yeah. but in the countryside, you maybe only have bus and motorcycle. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Also, and you can go to the movie in the uh, at weekend. You can go to some playground like that. Mm -hmm. Now, next question. <laughs> oh, so yummy, right? What kind of food did you like eating most when you were little? Remember when you were little? Um, when I was little, I liked um, one thing. I like get bông gòn. A cotton candy. Huh? Cotton. Cotton candy. Cotton. cotton candy. Yeah, you know that word? No. This one. Cotton candy. Yeah. Oh. Now you know how to do that. Yeah. It's like, yo, yeah, cotton candy is very beautiful. It's very nice. Yes. Why? There's some there's some cotton candies have colorful. Ah, uh, yeah, not have colorful because cotton candy is colorful. Yes, it's made okay. of colorful sugar. Yeah, colorful sugar. Actually, with sugar and the color. The color used in food. And because it's beautiful, the way it's really big. Yes. And soft. Yes, a dress. But we put it when we put it in the water, it will be very it's, it, it will stand it's like vanish. It vanish. vanish. Vanished. This one, vanish is just like disappear. Now short, be mad, like this. Go away. <laughs> vanish. <Okay>. Vanish <laughs> yourself. Name. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, you can say vanish yourself at a joke. <laughs> <laughs> Complete each questions with the words from the box. Now how? Look at this one. Easy. Oh my God, it's very okay. difficult. Don't say that, think easy and do it easily. Now we have some words. How often, what kind, how long, what, have you ever, how, which, how many, and whose. You know all the meanings, right? How can I do this? I don't know how to do this. You're gonna write here from number two to number five. You're gonna find now what you want what do you write down here? For example, number one, uh, is your luckiest best friend? This is a question about the people, about the person. So you have to write who. Yep. But and now, ask me or some. No, don't me. don't care about this one. You're gonna finish too. This question. Oh. Okay. It it you it use blue. I would use blue for it. Okay, whatever you like. Do you go online? Um, have you ever, okay? Remember the tense. <laughs> no, I choose that. I like it. It's up to you. I like to use have you ever. Have you ever have you been? Mm -hmm. Who have you been in this class? Um, how often? How long have you been in this class? I know that. 
um, very intelligent and um, intelligent than people. Not Come than normal like people. <laughs> than other people or than some people or than normal people. Times, what time have you? What kind of people? What time? What what is this? I do not know about this. Yeah, times. Time with S. Remember I told you. Time no oh. M and time with S. This have they have different meaning. What does this mean? I tell you, I will explain later. I will choose what? Oh, okay. Okay, finish. <laughs> now let me yeah. show you. This one, the first one is. How long do you go? How often do you online? Remember? Oh my God. It's more meaningful. Next one. Oh my God. Have you been in this <gasps> class? That is good. But you remember, we just use the word how long for once time, once only. It means twice. So, oh need, God. so you need to accept one of them is wrong. <laughs> okay, number four. Okay, times. Time with no S, that means we say about the duration, about the time in clock, okay? Mm -hmm. But remember, times with S, that means once, twice, three times, four times. How many mm -hmm. times you do it? So how many? Bao nhiêu lần bạn đã ở trên sân khấu? Time, số lần. Right. And this one. It's very easy, which because we have to choose the drum, the guitar, or the violin. So we use the yeah. word. Now focus on. And we're gonna move to six, seven, eight, and nine. Oh, it is so long. Add some word. Um sport a goal in an important match. Oh my god. What is this? I don't know the word that we already choose. What are the words that we already choosing before? How could it be? Yes. Okay, you can do number seven, eight, and I first, and after that. Yes. I told you. <laughs> do seven, nine, and eight first. Um, of how day do you like best? What kind of holidays? What kind? What birthday in your family it is next? What what else are you doing? How long to oh how long do now? How long do now? Long. How what? tall you yeah. are now? Okay. Not changing? No. Read again, please. You're gonna think again. I, what is 
What is which? Eight is which? Huh? Eight is which? Which you already use that. Remember, which instrument do you prefer? Oh, we already what? use it two, four, two, three, Just four, five. Which? What? How about what? Okay, if you are not changing, I want to show you the answers. Okay. Okay, here, score. It is a verb. Have you ever scored a vowel in a too much? Whose? Whose là của ai? Thì chắn là sau whose. Nó phải cộng với một danh từ rồi. This is a verb. And verb in three. And verb three. Remember? Với ba nữa chứ. Next one. This one is right. What kind of holiday do you like best? And birthday is a now. So whose birthday in your family is it next? Sinh nhật ai là tiếp theo. And this one easy. How tall are you now? So it's not very as easy as you think. Yeah. Yeah, so be careful. Now we're going to move to next one. Listen to which questions for from eight the Holly's mom answer. You are going to hear a part of conversation between a girl called Holly and her mother. Listen to two of Holly's mother answers. So we gonna you gonna tell me about the question. The first question is ask about the past. Next one. Where and when did Holly mom do her acting? When does she go online? And where is she when she goes online? Okay. I do know how to do this. Okay. You okay? There here are four questions you have to answer. Just like. Okay. The first one. Quick questions as about the past. So the answer of each question is a question too. Understand? Uh huh. Because the people say quick questions, so the answer would be kind of a questions. Understand? You got it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now let's listen. Fifty two B. What a lot of questions. Listen. Which questions from A does Holly's mum answer? Mum, have you read the questions in this magazine? Can I ask you them? Okay, Holly. Right. How many times have you been on a theatre stage? Wow. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I was in the school theatre group for five years. We did lots of acting, so I've been on stage hundreds of times, I guess. Really? You never told me that. Next. How often do you go online? Every day. But I only use the internet when you or your brother aren't on my computer. I try to answer my emails in the afternoon. Before we get home from school? That's right. Finish? Okay. Now, which questions ask about the past? How many times have you been on a theater stage? Yep. Very good. Where and when did Holly's mom do her acting? Remember two information. Where and when. Uh, I think a school. And when. Uh, No. So when does she go online? In the afternoon. Where is she when she goes online? At home and doing something on her computer. So let's see the answer. Let's go very good. <laughs> Just that. 
especially at school means holy moms were at school when she was younger, like that. Uh -huh. She's got online in the afternoon and at home with her computer, do something on that. Very well. Now, write your own answer, then ask a friend. It is mean I asked you. Okay. But first, you have to answer this first. You don't, you just want, you just need to answer from number one to number five only. You can ask me about number six and not to, from number six and number nine to number nine. I don't know how to do this. Just write down here, who's luckiest friend? You think, write the name here. How often do you online? For example, like that. Just say some word, shop thing. Okay, if you want, I will show you. Yes, show me. Who's your luckiest friend? Mm -hmm. um, right now. Check it down. Come on. Uh, how often do you go online? Do you go online? Do you go online? How often? Do you online go online? Is go online? I mean. You go on the internet? Go on the internet? Um, yes, you online with your computers, your phone, like that? Seven. 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 Um, a week. Seven a week. Seven. Seven. What does it mean? Seven. Seven did order. Cái đấy không phải là lần. Cái đấy là thứ tự số bảy. Số là là gì? Seven Z. Seven what? Seventeen. Seven times. Oh my god, I Here, forgot before, about this. Look at this one. We have the word times. Once, cho một lần. Seven. Twice, cho hai lần và từ ba lần trở lên. Chúng ta có three times, four times, Once. five times, oh. six times. Và cái cái là ordinal number nha. Okay. Seven times a week. How long have you been in this class? Mm -hmm. uh, in this class, in grade mm -hmm. three, I have been many months. A year? A year. A year. Right out. What's that? I asked my sister. You are so talkative. Being on the teacher stage, um, I have never. Okay, you can never, say right. Never. I write where I write. Never. Never. Actually, when you when you like. Oh, when I have been in a uh, school. No, no. School school stay is portable. If you are, oh, uh, if you were one, I have been in a school stage many times. Okay, okay, write down, write the time. How many times? Um, con đang rất là nhiều lớp văn nghệ, cho nên là không thể nhớ nổi từ lớp một đến bây giờ. Wow. Không thể, không không nói, không kể lớp một mà có cả lớp mầm non nữa. Wow, you're such a talented girl. No. Not every girl, not every you. girl can be a dancer. I tell you, Some... you such you such a talented girl. So I give you a compliment. Why do you say no? You say have to say thank you or something like that. Thank you. <laughs> some 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 of my friends, when I was small, was smaller. They cannot. They they can't be in the. 
the dancers team so they they cried oh. for a long time so it's like they are so nervous right they were so nervous their face like <laughs> keep writing if you're saying when, but you have to keep writing okay how many times uh, um how many times uh oh. okay about <laughs> About twenty times. About thirty or fifty. Is it ten? About don't you? Which instrument do you prefer? Oh, I know your answers. <laughs> Are you sure? I think. No, and. And the flute. Oh, I already, have... I I already think that you're gonna play. Uh, you're gonna write the piano. But look at our questions. And the flute. I like to. I but, I prefer flute too. But look at our questions. You only have one in three. Drums, oh. guitar, or the violin. Oh, oh my God! What would I do with this? I think the violin. I I am I'm a, I'm just a little bit good about the violin oh. too. But now I don't play. Oh my god. Oh my god. How can I write it again? You have to write this again for practicing. Oh my god. Violin. Yeah, violin. No, not violin. Violin is like this. Yeah. No, this is violin. Violin. And violin. violin. Do you know is the meaning? Is that correct? Is this correct? Yeah. And do you know this one? Violin. Well, yes, I know this color is a very. Is a no, color. it's not a color. Is an adjective. A flower. It's no, correct. not. That is violet. Oh. It's violet. violet. No. It's a bad word. That means bad luck. Oh. I'm, I'm so, very, I'm, I am very violent with my no. mother. No, violent in bad ways. For example, you know, it's real. The word. The war that is violent action. Good, I don't know. I am there. I am violent with my mother when she beat me. I beat it. I beat her again. Because oh my god! Oh my god! What I'm hearing? <laughs> she beat my legs very hard, so I oh cannot. You see that? You can't be here. You can't stand. Cái không chịu đựng được là chúng ta sẽ sử dụng nha. I, I uh, can't stand. Can't stand. Hoặc là I can't be here. So this, how can I write about 629? 629, you can ask me. Okay. A part. I will answer. Uh, no, I haven't. Uh, I have an have you ever scored a goal in an important match? Yes, I have. Wow. I played soccer when I was about grade six. Okay, cho, okay, cho. No, I really do that. <laughs> soccer, you know, I because not only because I'm small, I run really fast when I was young, uh, but not now. No, I am fat. very small. I am Mercury, so I run very fast. I like you. I oh. I like you. I same to you. Okay. You I'm just like you, like that. Okay. Now, now yes. next quickly. What kind of holiday do you like best? I think Tet. Huh? I think Tet holiday. 
hashtag holiday one. Yeah, because I have a long okay. time for resting and I no. love, I can, I, I think can. summer holiday is longer. Why than you say no? Time. Why you say no? Because that is my opinion. That's my thinking. You don't have to say no. You can say, oh, in my opinion, there is no yes and no here. Because this is a question. Is it depend on your thing, on your thought? You can say, in my opinion, or in my point of view. À, mình sẽ mở đầu bằng cái từ này nha. Mình không nên phủ định ý kiến của người khác, tại vì đây không phải là câu hỏi just no. My opinion. Trong quan điểm của con, hoặc là theo quan điểm của con, hoặc là in my point of view. Từ cái nhìn, cách nhìn của con, con nghĩ như thế nào đó, I think. Đó, mỗi người một quan điểm mà đúng không? Cô thì cô thích Tết hơn, cô không thích Summer Holiday vì Summer Holiday cô vẫn phải làm. <cười> ok, cô có được ý đâu, đúng không? But, but, but uh, in my opinion, Tết, we have to give the money we made. Ah, uh, yeah, but the it's children, kind of... right? Okay. <cười> I will think again. <cười> oh my god. You say it's all right. Yeah, Now, last question, yeah. please. Last question, please. What kind of oh, whose nope. birthday in your family it is next? My mom is tomorrow. Tomorrow? Yes. <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah. Tomorrow is my mom's birthday. Are you Papa kidding me? Or are, you, are you are you joking me? Yeah, my mom. Tomorrow. Are you joking me? On the 27th of July. On the so is that tomorrow? So today is 27. All right. Okay. <laughs> How tall are you now? It's a secret. <laughs> I am very happy because con tăng lên được hẳn 8 cân. Wow, you gain cân. weight. You gain weight. Yes. Gain. Yes, I get weight from three to eight. Wow! Oh my god! Gain weight from from là phải from cái số cân chính xác của mình nha. From twenty uh twenty three to twenty eight. Wow, that's so good. You are so thin. <laughs> you are 20. so thin. You need yes. to gain more. So now, but in the morning, mom, mom tell me that do more exercise because um, my belly have some mỡ. <laughs> Có mỡ fat. Mà. Fat. Then fat, but my mom have fat too. A, she had more than me. <laughs> We're gonna sitting too much. Yeah. Okay, that is so interesting, right? Today, the lesson. Now we're gonna yeah. see each other in the next lesson. We gonna continue this one, and I will okay. send you the answer of your homework. Goodbye. Goodbye. Any questions? No. Yeah. Bye. See ya. Good. See you.